हेलो एवरीवन इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर प्रॉब्लम इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द बाउंडेड बफर प्रॉब्लम वी हैव सीन अबाउट द ब्रीफ ऑफ प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर प्रॉब्लम इन द वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द प्रोसेस इंकोनाइजेशन लेक्चर सीरीज इन विच आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट द प्रोड्यूसर इज द प्रोसेस दैट एड सम आइटम इन द बफर एंड कंज्यूमर इज द प्रोसेस दैट टेक्स आउट द आइटम्स फ्रॉम द बफर एंड देर इज सम काउंटर and if producer and consumer are not working synchronously then there may be a issue in the value of the counter so now we will see how we can solve the producer consumer problem with the help of semaphores so what is the problem says problem says a producer tries to insert data into empty slot of the buffer and a consumer is the process that tries to remove data from filled slot in the buffer and we have already seen if the producer and consumer are not working in sync then may there may be some issues so now let's see the semaphore that uh, you need to use to uh, provide the solution for producer consumer are first semaphore that we are using is s and this semaphore is used so that only one process only one process is accessing only one process is accessing the critical section or it is the mutex semaphore that is for mutual exclusion property now second semaphore that you need to use is e which is initialized to n e means empty e means empty and n is the size of the buffer so n is the size of the buffer and the third semaphore that you need to use is f which is initialized to 0 and f means full that means the buffer is full so initially the buffer is empty so we have used is f is equals to 0 and empty is also full so e is equals to the size of the buffer so these are the three semaphores that we need to use and the two atomic operations that we are using is wait and signal so the two atomic operations that we are using is wait and signal so wait will decrease the count or decrement the count and signal will increment the count so these are the semaphores s e and f and these are the two atomic operations wait and signal so now let's see the code for producer consumer problem so first the producer producer will try to insert some data into the buffer so what the producer will do producer will wait on empty semaphore e and the producer will keep on waiting producer will keep on waiting until empty is greater than 0 and then decrement the value for e so in this you can write it will wait until empty that is e is greater than 0 and then decrement it so producer will keep on adding the value in the buffer until the value of empty is greater than 0 that means if there is a one slot empty then the producer will add that item so this wait is for checking whether the empty slots in the buffer are filled or not then the second wait is on the s that is only one process is accessing the critical section 
so the second weight is on s that is the producer is now acquiring the log so this weight is for acquiring the log then in the critical section the producer can add producer can add item to the buffer so producer can add item to buffer so this is your critical section then once the item is added we need to release the log so we will issue signal s that is now the log is released so the log is released and what we need to do is we need to increment the value of this f also because when a producer add some item in the buffer the full is also incremented so we need to signal on sima for f so this is for incrementing this is for increment full so suppose if the initial values of f is 0 e is equals to for example suppose e is equals to 5 so once this process is completed e will become 5 minus 1 due to this weight decrement ho jayega value so it will become 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4 and this will become due to this signal f f is equals to f plus 1 that is 0 plus 1 which is equals to 1 so if we see a buffer like this if we see a buffer like this and there are five slots so once a producer enters something one slot is taken for example the producer add a so now the empty are four which is correct and full is one which is also correct so in this way the producer will keep on adding until empty is greater than zero producer will add until empty is greater than zero once all the values are filled for example a b c d and e at that point empty is zero so the producer can't add more items in the buffer and it will wait in this particular entry section so that is the producer now we will see how the consumer code is written so now let's see the consumer code now consumer will wait on f that is full and consumer will wait until wait until wait until full is greater than zero and then decrement then decrement the value of full so in this the consumer will wait until full is greater than zero and then decrement the value of full then the consumer will acquire lock on s so wait s so the lock is acquired in this once the lock is with the consumer consumer will do the remove operation that is consumer consumer will consume some items and then after consuming items the lock is released with the signal on s so in this the lock is released and then the signal will be on e because the empty buffer will needs to be increased so now it will increment the empty so that is the code for consumer now let's see how consumer code works on this particular buffer so in this the full is 5 so consumer can proceed forward then consumer acquires the lock and suppose the consumer consumes this e so this e is now free or the space that is this e is holding is now free 
so now what happens signal s is issued that means the lock is released and signal e so after the completion of all the items in this buffer the value of e is zero but now after consuming this e will become zero plus one that is one so e is now one so producer can again add some items in this buffer and in this weight is also decremented so now weight is also so decrementing the value of f so now f will become 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4 so now once uh, after this if producer accesses this producer will again increment the value of f and it will again become 4 if some another data item is added in this buffer so that is how the producer consumer problem solution is uh, given with the help of SEMA force. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such tutorials on operating system and other computer science related subjects. Thank you.